Jimmy and Kim are at the Supernatural America Art Exhibit at the Toledo Museum. Of course, in Toledo, Ohio, Toledo Art Museum. It's a special exhibit that's going on now through, I think it goes through September? Does it go through October? I think just September. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's all, I don't really know much about it, but it's like art that's inspired by uh, supernatural things and stuff. It's supposed to be really large, they told us at the gate. So we're just going to kind of go around, film, and comment a little bit. We don't want to be real noisy because, again, it's a museum. Um, and yeah, you are allowed to film and take pictures as long as you're not flash here, so. So like this one's kind of cool, it's made out of charcoal, but if you look like, she's just carrying a regular basket, and there's her face, and of course art. And if you look down, you can see their face looks steamy, and you see it reveals that she's actually carrying skulls in a basket. See the reflection? It's actually skulls. That's kind of cool. That is very cool. But yeah, this one's basically just, um, people sitting around and uh, telling ghost stories, and little girl is scared holding her doll. I think it kind of is just like the first thing you see kind of introducing you to uh, the fact that you're about to see creepy ghost things. <laughs> Here you have a painting from the famous um, Salem Witch Trials and that. You've probably seen this one before. This is really cool though. Like, is this like the original? Is that what this is? 1855, wow. on canvas. Because this is like a really famous one, isn't it? That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I guess this is like the painting. That is neat to actually see that first. And in this one, you have like an angel over the battlefield. Kind of beautiful, but also eerie. I think I have this the headless horseman painting here. Chasing Ichabod. Ichabod. The night before the battle. That's bringing them, like um, an ancestor that is bringing them into the spirit world. Yeah, people holding a vigil, but there's like, I don't know if it's a portrait or if there's a creepy thing in the mirror, and then yeah, they're kind of like slightly transparent, that's odd. Just the way the proportion is kind of eerie looking. See so yeah, this one is basically, it's a depiction of what happens to the soul after you die. You see the guy's kind of well, being dead. <laughs> and then the angels and demons are basically fighting for his soul. It's like an old countryside. It's a cool, is that an oil painting? Yeah, oil and yes. canvas. Yeah, it's a really nice oil painting. Very detailed. Basically this weird contraption. It says that he made it in the, like a way the spirit can communicate and it'll light the incense. What a weird... Yeah, and they're like different oils and stuff that was like left over. I don't know. It's it's on. It's on. Yeah, I don't know when it was. What, 2012? So it's not super old. If there's somebody here right now with us. And light the incense? Light the incense. Apparently you were able to do so. There's a oh, yeah. match there. Because it's, e it's an EMF detector and we focus in here. Yep, because it shows you like the current EM status and that. But yeah, it says... Um, a monitor scans the room for electromagnetic changes and when the spirit interacts with the device, a lever at the left springs an emotion to strike a match that lights incense. Okay, if there's anybody here with us. Interesting. Do it. Wouldn't that be just crazy? Oh my god, if it would, then we're just standing here looking. We have to like go get somebody like, um, excuse me, there's a fire inside your case, yeah, like the me, spirits. Um, the incense is burning. <laughs> <laughs> call somebody. Right. Like Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. Taps. I don't know. Right. Here's just a little, a little spoopy sketch. Here's a big spoopy sketch. It's not really a sketch, but it's watercolor. I like watercolor. Watercolor's cool. I really like the way it's like the the trees are in this one. Very creepy looking. Kind of see like faces and stuff. Kind of plays tricks on your eyes. It's cool some kind of weird, like, ethereal digital animation, like, art. Children being creepy children. So this is kind of cool, but unfortunately it's in this glass box you can't look, but you can see two of them. I'm going to zoom in, try and focus here. Um, it's a book of, like, Oh, tiny fear. You can kind of see that there's a ghost image behind her. And then you can see 
And this one, I mean, I don't know if they're real or not. I didn't actually read the thing. Are they supposed to be like real? Because I mean, these they're look. They're supposed to be. Because that one's real literally a sheet ghost. So I don't know. Because like, if you look at this one, it's literally a sheet ghost. <laughs> So oh, yeah, it is. So I don't know if that could actually be real, but I mean, I kind of wish that we could see the rest of the book, though. I know. Mm -hmm. They're just so, like, perfect looking, and it's just upsetting to me. This kind of a cool and creepy image. It's kind of like, almost like a dreamscape of someone having, like, a dream. You can kind of see, like, a spirit there in the middle. It's very faint, but it kind of painted like a spirit in the picture. It's cool. You see it? Yeah. 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 And I really like, yeah, the style of his painting is cool. Basically to deal with that he lost three people that are close to him and it kind of, only one of them in a car crash, but it kind of has representation of that and stuff. So it just has kind of this like, almost whimsical kind of like character to it, but kind of off-putting. This is this one, just some people dancing with a, Dance. yeah. It's kind of like a creepy little projection thing where it makes it look like a hand is like pressing through the wall. Oh, it went away. There it is. You kind of see the creepy little hand. The camera's having a hard time focusing on it. Ooh, it's just so subtle and odd. It looks really weird on camera, actually. Huh. It's so weird. Asking the question of what is an apparition, what is an apparition, what does it look like? You know, which is something we've kind of talked about, I think, on like the podcast and stuff before, but you know, there's so many different beliefs in that. And I think that's kind of what some of this is like challenging, you know, like what is the afterlife, what is the supernatural, which is interesting. And like all of the different beliefs of the supernatural. Obviously, I don't want this to be three hours long, so I'm not going to be reading all of these texts, but there's a lot of, like, obviously, texts as an art museum, but it's more interesting, I feel like, because since it's all, like, creepy and, like, supernatural themes, so at the end of that, you might actually want to read the text by the paintings, or usually I wouldn't do it at all, to be honest. There's some really cool, creepy art here, and there's still a lot more to look at, I guess. This one's kind of cool. The lady makes the shadow of the tree, and then the vase with the glass makes the shadow of the lady. The guy running, but then there's like an apparition like mirroring him oneself. way in which this one was painted it's just really odd the style of just how like over the detail it is like oh my god look at his hands Oof. this one is really eerie to look at at least for me this is interesting these are glasses they're aura goggles they were made so you could see people's auras and help see spirits better he actually patented it Right, even there you can see the box for him. That's so interesting. I mean, I guess it's kind of like the thing, because it's supposed to help you see, like, ultraviolet light and full spectrum and stuff. It's kind of like the same idea, I guess, as, like, full spectrum cameras that you see, like, in ghost shows and stuff like that today. Here's, like, a variety of different, like, um... Spear communication devices. Planchettes, and a talking board of some sort. They used to be very big, and they didn't have such like a negative connotation. Like a lot of people actually used them. This is kind of like a just like a thing people did. Oof. Phantasmagoria, this thing's called. This is kind of a creepy little nightmare landscape thing. Ooh, 
Oof. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say this one's. Ooh, yeah, this is creepy. It's called the Seance, and you can see like it's supposed to be like ectoplasm. Or you gonna call it like coming out of people's mouths and stuff like that. And you can kind of see that it like leads up into like creepy spirit faces and stuff like that. This is a really eerie one. Like I guess like a family album of like friends, well, friends and family, of, like deceased friends and family. What this book is here. And this, so you can get out like the simplicity of just this little sketchy of this woman. It's just kind of eerie. Here we have some like vintage talking boards. Here's the other one here. And you said these used to be like a, a big thing that a lot of people used. Oh wow, this is like a little planchette. It's like a box for the actual planchette there. The Mystic Answer Board. I would like to start collecting, like, spirit boards, talking boards. They're cool. I love, like, the art and just, like, the aesthetic of them. It's just like a cool like set of a whole bunch of different bottles filled with different stuff for like spell possibly and like you know whatever might have you. It's kind of just, it's displayed on this like um, old school like I don't know what this is actually some kind of like mechanical thing. A little chunk board up there. It's like different like um, things that are needed and things to mix. This is like a piece that was made is for like um, an altar for offering things to. This is the god Dimbala. So it's kind of like snake god. It's made like st snake skin and wood and metal. And there's like a jaw down there at the bottom. So that's cool. There's more teeth for you, Kim. Ooh. This is like some kind of thing where all these like skeletal hands or holding on to this rope that's in a circle here. Let me get a, a shot of it. It kind of makes this cool like shadow beneath as well. You can kind of see it there. It's kind of cool the shadow it makes. I'm in there too, but still, see. This one's labeled as a spirit catcher. Kind of like made out of sticks and Wine, stuff like that. This one is a guardian spirit avatar. This thing's a little unsettling looking. There's just so much. It's like little dolls at its base. Oof. Big feathers. Some kinds of stuff. I mean, I'm into it. It's cool looking, but it's also pretty, pretty creepy. Just like this. Oh, I projection mapped. Thing, fog, and there's like little whispers around that sound like it's saying your name. <laughs> Ooh. basically made to like, what was his name? Dr. Robert Hare, yeah. You can use it, I guess, to like, basically he's trying to, to try and disprove, God, the creepy voices, <laughs> that uh, the mediums weren't right, but I guess however this thing works kind of describes it as confusing. He actually was convinced that they were real and that he wanted to study it more. Oh, there's like a creepy, like multicolored hand picture with a bunch of faces in the hand, that's cute. 
seems like this is all like the same artist here. A similar style, like very colorful and kind of eerie. Kind of like all these brush strokes, but then you can kind of make out faces. And this one has just all kinds of just like faces, people and stuff in it, like little people. And just untitled. No oh, this is cool. So this is just a notebook with automatic writing, which is basically where a spirit will kind of t kind of possess you in a way, and you basically write down what the spirit wants you to write down. That's cool. It's cool. Um, yeah. This is an inch. Um, instrument also made by the woman that did all that colorful art we were looking at earlier. It's a spirit trumpet and you put the small section of your ear to amplify the sound of spirits talking to you. And presumably the spirits would have a whisper party at you on that end. Over here there's a bunch of like spirit drawings and automatic drawings. Same kind of thing as automatic writing except they are portraits. So the spirit basically like kind of influencing you and you know guiding your hand and stuff like that. God, I need a spirit to help me draw things like this. God knows I can't do it on my own. <laughs> Not very artistic when it comes to drawing. Great ideas. It's just getting them on paper. These are, they're like mandalas, these are essentially crayon art, these ones are. What's this? Tom Double Gambling Colored Pencil on Paper. It's kind of weird. It kind of looks like the print of like a, you can put on a shirt or something. Interesting. So yeah, this is a, a trance mask. Um, this artist, she would put these creepy masks on and um, she'd be in trances and she would also paint in trances and I guess this is one of them uh, right here, which is pretty cool, pretty cool um, trance art. See a little hand coming up through the colorful little wisps. Also kind of looks like a Hawaiian shirt a little bit. <laughs> a little creepy hand. And just like automatic writing, slates. We actually have pictures down here of people holding like a seance, holding hands and stuff like that. Let's do a seance. That sounds like fun. I think we might be getting into alien shit. Yay! Oh, there's a little, a little UFO thing on the ground. So we must be in like the alien section now. I like aliens. There's a little spaceship or something. I don't know what's going on there. Interesting. Yeah. Flying moto. Yeah, they're weird little spaceship art things. Here's a bunch of like little, like just on paper alien drawings. Kind of like, I don't know if like some kids or what probably says over there. UFO sketches. Kind of looks like something you'd see like in a, like X Files episode or like a movie where like there's like that crazy and alien guy that no one believes but he's always right and then everybody gets um, violated by aliens at the end. You know. Yeah, you do. I'm kind of going to go through here and just look at some of these red grass planet. Kind of like interpretation of an alien planet there. Looks like a fun vacation. This one's flying saucers with snakes. What? Oh. Uh, this flying looks like. And snakes. This looks like album art from something I've seen. It does look like album art. Yeah, it does. We have flying saucers with snakes. There's, um, oh, there are both snakes and uh, flying saucers. I kind of like this. It's real trippy. I kind of want this. Like, I can't have it. Okay. Here's some um, Native Americans just kind of sitting around, right? With some, uh, some UFO beaming down. So. Oh, there's something else. Okay, we'll be a little abducted, a little church, a little UFO there. Here's just some uh, UFO photographs. Some old ones, obviously. 
me tell you these are photoshopped. Focus camera. The aliens are making my camera not focus cam. Yeah. Stupid aliens. That's interesting. It just says God in the middle. Okay. Point pen paintings are called God is what the day is called too. In the clouds. Hmm. Hmm. Really, right down there. But yeah, we just finished up in the uh, supernatural exhibit um, now we're just kind of in the right to be museum and I don't really feel like doing a vlog here because it's literally gigantic there's so many rooms and there's a glass museum um, but yeah I think it was pretty cool overall what did you what did you think of it Kim over overall I'll kind of turn the camera here I thought it was really cool I really like seeing like the whole um, old uh, spiritualism stuff and yeah. uh, the automatic writings were pretty neat. Oh yeah, the automatic writings yeah. were really neat as well. Um, yeah, I really liked, uh, like I said, some of the like the seance stuff I was talking about. I forgot about the automatic writings. I was kind of let down by the UFO section because it was just like weird, like, um, I don't know. I wish the UFO section was a little better. I was, I was hoping there was like a little bit more to it, a little bit more creepy things, but like, it was basically, I mean, it was art though. There were yeah. some odd things that we didn't show on camera creepy as well. Like this dog? What's that? Ew, look at that. Look at that. So this is a regular museum. Look at this little thing. It's creepy. Um, but, uh, yeah, the museum is really awesome. The museum itself is free as well. Now, the exhibit was $10 a person, which isn't bad. Um, and you can definitely spend time in there reading, because, again, we weren't going to read for the blog, because, again, it would have took us forever if we wanted to read everything that was in the blog. Um, but the, what I was starting to say, there were some weird things. Like, there was, like, one that was kind of made out of pee and beets, and it was, like, this naked woman pulling things out of bad places. Um, and we're like, yeah, I'm not going to film that for YouTube. <laughs> but um, you'll see it if you come here. Yeah. So just know there's some maybe not PG situations going yeah, on in there if you feel like content. bringing your crotch goblins. But, um, yeah. It was fun. Make sure to like and subscribe for future creepy stuff. See you in the next one.